Hello viewers! Do you have a yellow or red warning light shaped like a car with skid marks behind it on your dashboard? In essence, this is there to let you know that traction control is off for one reason or another. And without this safety device you might end up sliding off the road which, needless to say, is quite dangerous. But why is this warning light on and, more importantly, what to do about it? Well, that's what we are going to find out right now. Let's go! Several things can trigger the traction control light on your dashboard, with broken speed sensors and wiring issues being the most common. Yet, as we shall now see, these aren't the only possible causes of this problem. Let's start with the fact that the traction control might have been inadvertently turned off. Yes, maybe you didn't know that, but this can be done in most cars. While the specific steps to do it for each vehicle are slightly different, almost every car allows you to do this. Look up how to turn your vehicle's traction control on and off. Give it a shot. If your light goes away, that is your problem. But if not, there are other things you should check, so keep on watching. When it comes to actual technical malfunctions, a faulty wheel speed sensor probably takes the top of the list. Its job is to report how fast the wheels are spinning to the ECM, and there are four of them, one for each wheel. When one or more of these readings don't match what the rest of the wheel speed sensors are reporting, then the traction control kicks in and tries to save the day. Yet, if the wheel speed sensor is offline or gives incorrect readings, the traction control will start acting up. And in many cases, this will come hand in hand with ABS warning light that stays illuminated on the dashboard with all corresponding issues. Another critical component in the traction control system is the steering angle sensor. That's because as your vehicle turns, the outside wheels are going to turn faster than the inside wheels. This is completely normal and it's the steering angle sensor that lets the TC's control module know what's going on. But if the steering angle sensor says you're still going straight while actually turning, the traction control system might get confused and it could even kick in when it shouldn't. While wiring and electrical issues are less likely than a faulty sensor, it's still a possibility. That's because even if all the sensors are working correctly, it won't matter if the wires that are transmitting the signal are corroded or broken. The most common location for faulty wiring is right by the wheel speed sensor, since those wires are often exposed to the elements. Always rule out faulty wiring or deeper electrical issues before buying new sensors, as they can be expensive. As with anything else electrical, the traction control system has one or more fuses, protecting all its components from overloads or shorts. However, these fuses are known to blow occasionally, which prevents the control modules from getting the right information, triggering the TC light on the dashboard. Hydraulic brake fluid is needed to create pressure for the brakes to apply. When the brake fluid gets too low, there won't be enough pressure for the brakes to work properly. You may notice a spongy pedal when you push on it, and it could also take longer to stop the vehicle. The brake fluid shouldn't be low because the system is closed, so if you notice the levels dropping, there's probably a leak. The ABS pump is used to adjust and apply the hydraulic pressure to the brakes. If it fails, the traction control won't be able to perform its job, which consists of braking individual wheels when needed. The same might happen if there is an issue with the ABS control module. Lastly, we have the battery. If it's worn and weak, it won't hold enough charge to power the essential systems. One of the first things to take the hit is the traction control, as it needs a stable voltage supply to keep everything in check. Even the slightest deviations here may trigger the TC light on the dashboard. Your traction control light serves several functions. For starters, it lets you know when the system is active. Or in other words, if it's flashing on and off while driving, it means the traction control is kicking in. You'll probably notice the brakes locking up and releasing as the ABS does its job. Also, if this is happening while accelerating, you might notice the throttle response is a bit off. All in all, if the wheels were slipping, there's no reason for concern, as everything is working as it should. Another thing I must point out is that the traction control light should turn on and then off when you first turn the key in the ignition. This is a system check and as long as the light goes away, everything is working the way it should. When you should be worried is when the traction control light doesn't go away after the system check. 
If it stays on, it means that your vehicle's traction control system isn't working the way it should, or you've turned it off. Finally, you might notice the light is flashing randomly as you drive even though the wheels aren't losing traction. This means there is a serious issue with the traction control, and this is when you shouldn't drive your car until it's fixed. Otherwise, you're risking the ABS randomly applying your brakes as you drive, and this could quickly lead to an accident. You have surely noticed that I've mentioned the ABS here several times, despite the traction control being the subject. This is because in most cars, these two safety systems work together to increase the car's stability in a variety of real-life situations. But let me explain this in a bit more detail. Basically, what happens is that the car's computers monitor how fast each of the wheels is spinning using wheel speed sensors. If you press the throttle too hard and the wheels start slipping, the traction control reduces engine power to regain grip. Similarly, if you press the brake too hard and the wheels lock up, the ABS kicks in and eases off the pressure on the brakes. And lastly, if you get into the corner too fast and your car starts sliding, the traction control applies the brakes to just one or maybe two wheels and, by doing so, gets the car back on track. Where the ABS and traction control overlap are several hardware components, such as speed sensors. Both systems use their readings to determine whether they should intervene or not. Another thing is the ABS pump. The traction control uses it when brakes need to be applied to one of the wheels to stop the slide. As with most things in our cars, how much will it cost to repair the traction control light depends on what's causing it. In many cases, this will be down to a faulty wheel speed sensor, which is not very expensive on its own. Access to it, though, can sometimes be tricky, and they may also seize in their bore in the hub, which makes removal a bit more difficult. The steering wheel angle sensor usually needs to be recalibrated after replacement, which can only be done with a more elaborate diagnostic device. On average, it can take anywhere between $200 and $500 to repair the traction control light that stays on all the time, depending on what's causing the fault and assuming you're paying a mechanic to do all the work. Now, with all this said, only one question remains. Is it okay and safe to drive with the traction control light on? Well, if you've turned the traction control off, there's actually nothing wrong with the system and you are free to drive as needed. Still, bear in mind that having the system disabled means there is nothing to prevent your wheels from spinning and skidding in slippery conditions. However, if the traction control light is on because the system is malfunctioning, you must figure out the problem. For a start, check the trouble codes and based on the given information, you can determine whether it's safe to drive. In many cases, it will be, as long as you are comfortable driving without traction control. There are though some specific situations when this is not true and driving with the traction control light can lead to more severe and even dangerous issues. For instance, a broken speed sensor can cause the traction control to kick in when it shouldn't, preventing your car from speeding up. So there you have it viewers. These are the most common reasons why the traction control light in your car might be on. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. But if not, and this warning light is still on, you may have a more severe issue in your hands. So to continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for more detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!